Que la que hay, mi gente. Rico el Toro. De él es for el padrino. La familia. Hope you're well wherever you are. So, thank you all again for continuing to ride along. Support the channel. Appreciate you much. And if it's your first time stopping by, thank you very much. Real life experiences, personal observations. You know, you might want to click that subscribe. More than welcome to do so. You know, if you like such content. So just ride along with us. So we're gonna talk about a few things today. We're gonna to talk about ooh, that's a loud one. Yeah. We're gonna talk about a few things. We're gonna talk about um the cost of a few things. So I'm trying to stay out of the way while the floor is being swept. So we're gonna talk about the cost of a few things. Um, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions out there by, you know, when some guys try to, uh, you know, keep a woman kept, you know, help her out with her hair and nails and salons and, and all that stuff. So, um, you know, funny thing about the salons to me is this. You know, it's different when you got yourself, you know, main main regular chick or whatever. But when you're dealing with, uh, when you're dealing with professionals, if they come over looking all pretty and fresh from the salon, the last man hooked them up so they look pretty for you. But if they come over looking, looking busted, all messed up, nails falling off, you know, scratched up, the paint's chipping, you know, the, the, the head's a mess, the weave is like, you know, a old carpet, chances are your money's gonna help her go freshen up and look fly for the next dude. That's just the cycle that goes in. So, you know, I run, I run into two guys at uh, breakfast one morning, and neither one of them, what I say, are really friends of mine. They're guys I know, they're associates, but I'm kind of close friends with one of them that knows them pretty well. And one guy is, you know, he's telling the other guy, basically, he's telling him all the information. You know, he's got this main girl, he thinks, and... And he's telling them like, you know, I give her like, um, you know, 900 pesos, you know, um, for the salon, um, you know, 2000 for manicure, pedicure and, you know, all these numbers. Well, the other guy that has been living here a while also, he's a, he's a retired high level he was a high-ranking federal agent, retired, plus inherited and sold some property in um, Brooklyn, New York. So you can imagine, you can imagine the, the prices of brownstones in some of those areas, like you know Bensonhurst, Bay Ridge, and, and you know uh, some of those areas. So. So supposedly, from the friend of mine that's tight with him, like I said, I don't really care about another man's money like that. I don't know him well enough. I don't like him well enough to um, lie about it or, or give him any extra, you know, credit. But suppose, but so this guy supposedly is a millionaire, and but the guy is really aware of what things cost and does not give above like going rate. You know, um, for anything, you know, he pretty much usually has w one girlfriend and if she becomes too high maintenance, he lets her go, you know. So he's telling the other guy, you're paying too much, you're paying too much, you're paying too much. So with that, I did a little of my own recon recently, you know, 
I asked I asked a couple of a couple of people what stuff really costs. Just so you guys are know, so you guys won't be getting duped or feeling soft like that dude. So the salon, four to five hundred pesos most of the time. That's the sewer might be six hundred for something, six to seven tops on something is the sewer. But in Puerto Plata, I'll give you an example. Those long, the long, super long, extended braids that kind of made a comeback. 450 pesos for the braids, for the hair, and, and the installation. I can't say styling, the installation. Because you, you're in, installing hair that's not yours. So it's not styling, it's installation. <laughs> so 450 pesos. All right, so a pedicure. Uh, maybe like 600 pesos for a complete pedicure. In Sosu is what they paid. Maybe a little less. If they just need it, if they just need their little toes repainted, 100 peso. 100 peso for that. All right, manicure. 400 peso, four, 500 peso, you know, c complete manicure. So it's not, it's not nothing like, like, you know, a lot of dudes really get convinced, like it's 2,000 pesos for everything, you know? Like, like some dudes believe that, you know, a carton of milk is like a thousand pesos, you know? And it's, and it's really not. So I'm just saying, y'all, just some prices of some things. So, besides the money, it was just explained to me, or really, you know, made me think about something, that you can be a simp with your time. So, a friend of mine um, lives in Puerto Plata, does a, online, a lot of online dating, you know, trying the more regular girl route. You know, we we talk about that some. Nothing wrong with that. So he meets this girl. They decide to start make plans to see each other or whatever. And she's like, uh, okay, you know, I'm in La Vega. You're in Puerto Plata. Come to La Vega. He's like, all right, I'm retired. I'll go to La Vega. So he's like, but hey, I'm not real familiar with La Vega. So could you do me a favor? Meet me at this spot. There's like a little, I don't know, a little area like where you can get food and a little truck stop or something, car stop or whatever they call it, as you're coming into La Vega. So, you know, he's like, I'll take the two hour trip there. And she's like, no, I can't meet you there. I don't want to go out there. Uh, you got to come meet me here, closer to where I live, blah, blah, blah. And he said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm coming two hours. You know, um, the least you could do is drive 15 minutes to meet me. And he said, you know what? You know, I'm just not willing to willing to do all that. You know, and, and that's, it, you know, that's what I'm talking about. See, a simp would, you know, in addition to the money part, sometimes a simp would, would be you know, so afraid, like, or, or just, I don't know, you know, they jump through all kind of hoops to, to go there, you know, to try to, you know, basically just cater to every demand they have or whatever. And, you know, cause they, some just don't respect themselves enough or value themselves enough. So, or they feel they won up in the competition basically by kissing their ass, you know? And he used a term I hadn't heard before. And his brother's been living in the country like seven years. He's and traveled extensively. He says, guys that do stuff like that are anti-Dominicans because they know a Dominican would never put up with that shit. So they do the stuff a Dominican won't do. 
You know, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the efforts, some of the extra, you know, just kissing their ass, basically. So and he tells me another another situation recently, another. Um, and he sent me the text thread to this one. And it was kind of comical the way it went. But another one he's been dealing with, seen her a handful of times and she's telling him, her phone's freezing up, it's on the fritz, it's not acting right. She needs a new phone. So what does she do? She says, can you just buy me an iPhone? Just give me a phone, just give me, just a gift. No big deal, you know. And, and he said, let me think about, about this a second. No, um, he says, you know, basically in pesos, you know, iPhone, 50 some thousand pesos, $1,100. So, you know, he's like, you don't need an iPhone. <laughs> you know, and he said, I don't have an iPhone. R Rico Toro has two, but that's another story. So he said, I don't even have an iPhone. I don't spend that much money on my own phone. He said, I'm an only child. And I do a lot to help my mother. And I'm not even spending a thousand dollars on a gift for her. And all she could say, all the girl said, the last word, wow. But you know what, man? You gotta stand up. You gotta you gotta toe the line. And this brother's got like a six-figure pension. He's not heard for money. He certainly got it. You know, he did he tried to explain like the concept of maintaining a budget which they'll never understand that because to them if the money's in your pocket in your house in your safe or in some sort of account somewhere you can get it at any time and it's all just very spendable that's all they'll understand but you know I, I applaud people like that that just are like absolutely not you know, because they know what stuff costs. So, thanks again for following along. Hit that subscription. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll add that in the next video. I'm not done dealing with the pregnant chick yet. You know, I, I had to talk about that later. Hit that subscribe. Peace.